Hi, right, engineers. In this video, we're going to talk about the pulmonary circulation. The pulmonary circulation is extremely important within the body because its function is to be able to take blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs for the lungs to get oxygen for the lungs to oxygenate the blood. So we need to take the oxygen from the lungs and put it into the blood. That the next thing that's also really important for the pulmonary circulation is to take the CO2 out of the blood and put it into the lungs so that the lungs can actually exhale it and then take that new oxygenated blood and deliver it to the left side of the heart. So recap that, purpose of the pulmonary circulation is to pump blood from the right side of the heart to the lungs, where in the lungs, the, the blood is going to pick up the oxygen, drop off the CO2, and be taken to the left side of the heart. Let's go ahead and discuss this in detail. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually follow each one of these vessels and chambers and valves that we're gonna move through, but we're just gonna number it for right now, and then we're gonna write down what each number represents. So starting the circuit off here at the first position here is going to be within what's called the right ventricle, okay? So we always wanna start a circuit at the pump because he's the one who's actually driving the circuit. So the right ventricle is going to be the actual starting point for the pulmonary circulation. So this next thing is from one, we gotta pump it from the right ventricle up into the pulmonary trunk. But in order to do that, I gotta pump it through these valves, these pulmonary semilunar valves. So the second thing is I'm gonna have to move through the pulmonary semilunar valves, okay? So first is right ventricle, second is the pulmonary semilunar valve. Then when I pump it up through the pulmonary semilunar valves, I pump it through this big old trunk. So they call this the pulmonary trunk. So this third position right there is the pulmonary trunk. Then the pulmonary trunk gets this bifurcation point where it can split going to the actual vessels on this side. Since you guys are looking at the camera and we're looking at it like in this orientation, we're gonna say that this is the right side and this over here is the left side. So when it splits, it goes into a right pulmonary artery and a left pulmonary artery, okay? So for these guys, we're just gonna number it only on this side because we're focusing more on this side, but understand that it would be the same thing over here. So again, right ventricle through the pulmonary semilunar valve into the pulmonary trunk, and from that it splits into right and left pulmonary arteries. Now you guys might be looking at this and saying, whoa, aren't arteries supposed to be red? No, not in this situation because the pulmonary arteries are actually carrying deoxygenated blood. So because they're carrying deoxygenated blood, that's why we're representing it here in blue. Another example of this is actually gonna be the fetal circulation, where the umbilical veins were actually oxygenated and the umbilical artery was deoxygenated. Just remember that arteries are taking blood away from the heart and veins are bringing blood back to the heart. Okay, so that's really crucial to understand. So now we got the pulmonary arteries, right and left. The pulmonary arteries will come into the lungs, where it, like in a root kind of structure through the, the hilus of the lung, which is like a little slit-like potential space. When it moves in, it gives off another branch. So it gives off a couple branches here, and these are these guys here. You can see it, one, two, three. These are called your pulmonary arterioles. These are just small arteries, very, very re high resistance vessels. Anytime you hear the word arterial, think about a resistance vessel. So it controls the actual constriction and dilation responses. Then from here, the arterial branches into these nice little capillary exchange vessels. These are going to be very, very important. Why? Because at the capillary exchange site, that is where we said we're picking up oxygen. And then what are we dropping off? We're dropping off CO2, okay? So that's crucial there. So just remember that, that in these capillary vessels here, as we go from the pulmonary arterials to the pulmonary capillaries, what's happening in the pulmonary capillaries? We're picking up lungs, I'm sorry, we're picking up oxygen and dropping off the CO2, okay? So this is the oxygenation process, or the gas exchange process. And it's a, a, the gas exchange is actually occurring between a small little structural unit within the lungs called the alveoli, okay? Sweet deal. Then what happens is, from these pulmonary capillaries, they drain into these individual little things that you see here. You see this red one there, red one there, red one there? These guys, number seven, <clears throat> is going to be your pulmonary venules, okay? So these are called your pulmonary venules. They're small veins. So we have pulmonary arterioles, which are small arteries. Then we go into these guys here, which are called your capillaries, where they exchange vessels. And then we go into the small veins, which are called pulmonary venules. Then the pulmonary venules, one, two, three, come together and make up a nice big old vein. This is called the pulmonary veins. 
And when you take the pulmonary vein, the pulmonary vein, you're going to notice, oh, it's red. That means it's oxygenated. That's because we picked up oxygen and dropped off CO2. The pulmonary veins are going to do what then? They're going to bring the blood out of the lungs. They're going to take the actual blood out of the lungs and drop it off back to the heart. But now on what side of the heart? Now we're on the left side of the heart. The left side of the heart is the oxygenated side. The right side of the heart is the deoxygenated side. So now the ninth point here is we're going to be in the right atrium. Okay? I'm sorry, left atrium. Okay, so the next point we're going to be at is the left atrium. Then from the left atrium, we got to push the blood down through these valves. You see these little valves right there? These are important little guys, especially on the left side. It has two names. You can either call it the, the actual bicuspid valve, or you can call it the mitral valve. Okay? So from there, we're going to go from to the left atrium. The left atrium is going to pump it down through the mitral valve and into this nice little chamber here, which is called the left ventricle. All right, so like always, Repetition is the key to being able to remember these things because unfortunately it's just, it's just a lot of raw memorization. So let's go ahead and get started here. So to kind of recap it all, we're going to start off with number one. What is number one here? It's going to be the right ventricle. So the right ventricle was the pump. It was starting the circuit. The second point was going to be going through the pulmonary semilunar valve. That was the next structure that we had to go through. Then after that we had to pump it into the pulmonary trunk. So then that was the next one. So from, the, from that into the pulmonary trunk. Then what? Then from the pulmonary trunk, we distribute it into the right and left pulmonary arteries. So I'm going to put here pulmonary arteries. Then from that, we had to go to the next point. The pulmonary arteries broke down into different types of smaller arteries called pulmonary arterioles. So then we went to pulmonary arterioles. Then, from the pulmonary arterioles, we go into these nice little capillary exchange vessels to be able to pick up the oxygen and drop off the CO2. So the sixth point here is going to be the pulmonary capillaries. Then after that, after the exchange has occurred, we're going to take it out of these pulmonary capillaries and into these small little veins. What are those called? Post-capillary venules. They're actually going to be called, in this case, since they're post-capillary venules, we call them pulmonary venules. So we're going to call this pulmonary venules. And then. From the pulmonary venules, these venules are going to come all together and form one big old fat vein. That's called the pulmonary vein. So then you're going to go into what's called the pulmonary vein. Then from the pulmonary vein, the pulmonary vein is going to bring the blood back to the left atrium. So it's going to bring it to the left side of the heart. And this is going to be the left atrium. From the left atrium, we're going to pump the blood down through what valve? It's called the mitral valve or the bicuspid valve. So we're going to call this one the mitral or bicuspid valve. Then from that, we're going to go into the last structure here. And the last structure that we're going to enter into is going to be the left ventricle. So the last one that we'll go into is what's called the left ventricle. Left ventricle is going to end the pulmonary circuit but begin another circuit. It can actually begin the systemic or even the coronary circuit because he's responsible for the systemic circulation. The right ventricle is primarily important for the pulmonary circulation. All right, engineers, I hope all of this made sense. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed it. If it did make sense, please hit the like button, comment down in the comment section, and please subscribe. As always, engineers, until next time.